give me a definition of what it means to be humble. Obedient. Obedient? Okay. To acknowledge God's greatness in our littleness. To acknowledge God's greatness in our littleness. Okay. Listen to the Holy Spirit when he speaks to us with patience. Yeah, yeah. Yes, in the very back, yes. Surrender. Surrender. Okay, that's humility, huh? Okay, yes. Wait a minute, now, now help me with that. Help me with that. What do you mean with that? Now say, say it again. Accept who I am. How do you do And then move it out. Well, what does that mean now? I don't know. That's, what do you mean by that? Could you give me a, little more, a couple more words? Okay. Because that's who you are. You're a child of God. And because of that, you can now step out with courage yes. and, and not, not with fear. Yes. Because no, you're, you're a member of the family of God. Exactly. Your Abba is watching over you. Okay. What else is humble? Yes. Um, yeah, I think that's simple, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Uh, humility is truth. I confirm that. Yeah, I do too. I, I confirm that too. It's just the basic reality of who I am. But the problem is... Uh, we spend an awful lot of time escaping the truth of who we are with our masks, you know, and our pretense and, and, and our, our admiration of other people. And we want to be more like other people than we want to be like ourselves. Did you hear what I just said? It's often true, isn't it? You know, we spend all of our time trying to be like somebody else rather than being just who we are. You know? To really know that God loves us. To really know that God loves us. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that's important. Once you know that God loves you, you don't have to play games. You don't have to spend all of your time wishing that people thought something different of you or whatnot because I can just relax and say, oh, this is who I am, <laughs> and this is what God sees, and God's got... I like the, the image of God having a big smile on his face when he thinks of me. You know? Oh, that Michael, that crazy guy, he goes to Australia and runs around and he drives Paul, the cameraman, crazy with Jim running around and all that. In the very back, in the very back. To be self-effacing. What does that mean? Not to think that you're bigger than you are. Not trying to be bigger than you are. And that's what, that's what happens here, that if you have a foundation of God's love, I don't have to try to pretend that I'm something else. Yes, John. Do our best, though, that's really great. Humble is do our best to do God's will. Oh, that's profound, isn't it? Because that kind of Im implies the other aspect of spirituality that I think we forget is that it's a process. We're doing our best. We're, we're, we're striving. We're striving for something. And again, sometimes we fall. <laughs> but God is willing to work with us in the midst of all of that. Yes. Watching the Queenland's floods and watching people afterwards and allowing people to come and clean the mud and help them in their devastation. Good point. Excellent. Yeah. Wasn't that beautiful, though, to see what they're doing? You know, people just... I, I really admire Australians. I'm, I'm just... Whoa. That, that, that willingness to... And, and you know what was really interesting was... So many times when we heard the accounts of people coming back, I mean, their, their whole home is gone, their livelihood is gone and whatnot. And there's just kind of there, this little Australian smile that kind of comes, well, got to start over again. And I'm like, whoa, I don't know that I'd have that kind of faith, you know? Wow, yeah, yes. What's that? To be a servant. Yeah, to be a servant, and which is basically what, 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 what he says here in the parable. So open your heart